to talk about something that, that, that is actually, to me, is very important. If you've been paying attention to our show, you know that I'm not. And Zeno, even you were kind of a little bit too about the whole Kamala Harris being the vice president, right? Like the nom- when she was nominated, it was kind of like, oh, okay, you know. Uh, <laughs> politics aside, and this is what I put on Facebook, politics aside, it's something amazing to know that my daughter, right, will never have to wonder when, we'll never have, we'll never have to say, I hope to be the first female vice president, right? Even though if she's rooting for something, I'm hoping she's going for president, not vice president. But you know what I mean? They'll never have, there, there's going to be a generation of women who, ne- girls who never have to wonder what it's like. They'll never have a world where, we've touched on this before, where there aren't female superheroes, big female superheroes. Uh, speaking of which, uh, we have a review of WandaVision every single week. So feel, free, feel free to watch that. Uh, she's a superhero. We never have, uh, they'll never have to worry about that, right? Same thing now. Never have to worry about female vice president. Actually, during their life, uh, obviously before she was even born, was it, is Nancy Pelosi the first woman speaker house? The, female speaker? speaker of the house, yeah. She is. Again, politics aside, if you don't understand how big of a moment that is for people, mm-hmm. you'll never get it. Like, you never will. Yeah. Because it, to me, I'm a guy, I'm never going to have to worry about that, right? But I have a daughter who, I want her to have heroes, I want her to have important people that she can look up to, or even if, I'm not going to say I want her to look up to Kamala Harris, but definitely look up to the fact that, hey, I can be there too. Yeah. There's nothing that's going to stop me from getting there. Exactly. It's not so much, you know, when, it's gonna, when is there going to be the first one, it's that there's no reason why I can't do it, right? Yeah. Because for the longest time, you know, the, the idea was like, uh, especially like when Jesse Jackson ran for president, they're like, can a black guy really be president? Now that Obama's done it, it's not, that's not in the thought process. You know that a black guy can be president. Now, can now it's just what be, kind of policies does he have? Yeah, can he be qualified? Can you just do it? You know, same thing with Kamala Harris, you know, being uh, the first female vice president. Um, now you know that 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 ceiling has been broken, and that no longer needs to be the thing where you're like, "Oh, does it make sense? Can you put a woman in this position?" A woman has been there, and I'm I'm hoping over the next four years, maybe eight, that she does a good enough job in that role that people are like, "There's nothing wrong with a woman being in a position of power." Because even till as recently as four years ago. I've, I heard people saying like, oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I can trust a woman's um, decision-making. You know, she might be too emotional if, you know, this country does this thing, does it? Oh, what are you talking about, dude? Like, if you talk about decision-making, men get uh, aggro at the slightest, you know, buck. So, so what are you talking about? So, so yeah, I, I think it's a big moment that, you know, uh, hopefully one day I have daughters, um, but also my nieces, your daughter. Uh, yeah, they know that the sky's the limits. And this yeah. is just further proof of that. Yeah, yeah. And another thing is, uh, even more importantly than the female vice president, first female referee in the Super Bowl. That's also... Oh, yeah, that's true. That's, that's happening. That's happening. <laughs> it's going to happen this first time. Uh, this, uh, so again, just big things happening. That's great. It's been uh, a good 12 months for female firsts. There's the GM, right? uh, the female GM... Um, in uh is it Miami Marlins? Yeah, yeah, Miami Marlins. Um I'm sure and, you know that better than I do. Yeah. And then the the kicker for Vanderbilt. And then also the NFL has a huge amount like way more female uh owners now than they did I think uh like about five years ago. Yeah. Like like I didn't realize that there's so many female owners, like half I mean, owners uh Yeah, honestly, if you can be a CEO of like a regular company, which there's a lot of female CEOs now. Yeah, why can't you be a, an NFL owner? My thing is, I'm like, I'm like, if a woman, look, I have to balance the the kids because my wife works overnights and then she also does a lot of overtime because she's a first responder, right? So I have a little bit more responsibilities with the kids. I don't know how a woman does it, like full time responsibility with the kids, because you know, there's a lot of women, unfortunately, have no that don't have help mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. from from the man in their life, but are doing 
this, there are like, a lot of men who still have that mentality that hey this is a woman's job to do this yeah, yeah i'm gonna yeah go exactly make so so uh so yeah again women vice president that is a big first step no matter who it is yeah no matter who is in that role right um but i also we also need to touch on probably the greatest thing that happened in this inauguration which is bernie sanders and mittens okay greatest meme ever now um they keep just popping him out. The funniest part to me was when he had the manila, the manila envelope and the jacket and the mittens. And you're over here texting me is like, yo, this dude like is never off, is he? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, he's like him, Alexander Hamilton. He don't he never stops. He's nonstop. Like, yeah. You know, it's just like he's nonstop. So it, it, it's it, it was funny to me. Uh, what I thought was hilarious was like somebody tried to make something out of it. Some asshole on Facebook or on Twitter was talking about how, ah, look at all this energy. It's so misogynistic. It's the first female private president. He doesn't look like he wants to be. I was like, first of uh, all, yeah. if, you, if you're, if you're, if you're um, Zeno's cousins right now, I need you to cover yours, but shut the up, okay? Because the man is damn near 80. He was cold. <laughs> and that's it. He was cold. He yeah. was cold and he was, and he actually, I think he said, he said that he was like, I was trying to stay warm. And also the man just wants to get to work, man. The man is like, he really is nonstop. He wants to get to work. They asked him what was in the envelope. He said, I can't tell you. It's top secret. Well, they, they did. They worked that day. Um, yeah. Cause usually uh, inauguration day is like a day off or whatever, but no, nah, they, they worked. The Senate was in session that day. And um, though they went and saw, saw in the, the three new yeah. senators, you know, Warnock, Padilla and Ossoff. Um, so he, yeah, he, he was ready to go. One, uh, one of the best parts was that, like, so I think it was the one that started off the memes was, it was just a Twitter photo. It was just like a photo of him with a Twitter caption that said, if this could have been an email was a, was a person. Was a person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that yeah, was, that was great. I think um, that's what started off and then people just started going all, all hardcore with the memes. So, uh, everyone that's watching this is hearing this for the first time. You're hearing this for the first time. Um, tops. They they did the baseball you know they do the baseball cards right of all these mm -hmm. different things so they did a baseball card of that meme I bought three so I can give you one of them <laughs> as a present because I know you're a Bernie fan so appreciate it yes uh, that's oh this is uh, I really do appreciate that yeah uh, there's actually um I think somebody on Etsy was selling a um uh was it like, like knitted a shirt with the no no uh, no not a shirt. Actually, there, we got to talk about um, something that, that Bernie Sanders did, which was was uh, incredible. Yeah. But no, it's like a uh, crochet, mm -hmm. a crochet figurine of Bernie. And it's like the coolest thing ever. And I, I was like, I looked, I showed my wife and I was like, hey, I think this would look cool on my desk. But anyways, <laughs> Brian, hey, man, I appreciate that. Yeah. You won the bet, though. You won the all, all the bets, the Georgia. Oh, yeah. The, the Georgia, Georgia the NFL. And, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll figure something out for you. Um, um, but yeah, but so let yeah, I was going to say, let's. Touch on the, the shirt thing because it's about the the donation. Yeah, right? Bernie. So so actually, one really amazing thing, which is uh, just Bernie Sanders being Bernie Sanders, is he was like, all right, I don't one, I don't think he cares about this. He probably gets tickled by it. He has a great sense of humor. Um, you've seen him. Uh, um, you know, he 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 um, uh, and he's humble as hell. And the one thing that he did is he literally sold out a sweatshirt with just the Bernie meme, which I wanted to get, but it's sold out sold out like that and a hundred percent of the profits are going to vermont's uh meal on wheels but just that just shows you what the hell kind of classy guy he is that that dude is just classy should have been him <laughs> Go ahead. See. Okay. wait who are the other two people that you bought it for um i i know one other person i don't know maybe the third one's me but <laughs> <laughs> appreciate yeah. it uh, okay, so that's our, that's our talk on the inauguration. Uh